Hello, Peak Radar fans. We love to take you behind the scenes of the cultural community, and we are doing that today by giving you a sneak peek behind the scenes of the installation of the Pioneers Museum's newest exhibit, The Story of Us. I'm here with Matt Mayberry, Executive Director of the Pioneers Museum. Hello, welcome. Thanks for having us. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. <laughs> Thank you. Can you give us a sense, a little bit, of what we're about to see? You bet. So, as you mentioned, this is the story of us, an exhibit that will open to the public this Saturday, January 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a, an exhibit that uses the alphabet as a way to tell 26 unique stories about the history of the Pikes Peak region and to help people build a, a, a deeper understanding of this unique place in which we live. Awesome. Well, Matt's going to take us to some of the letters now to give us a sense of what we can see beginning on Saturday. The letters are all mixed up. Um, we want you to explore the alphabet as you explore our history. Um, so you see C is for coal mining uh, as we pan around the room. Uh, N is for natural disasters. In this case, we're talking about uh, Prairie grass, uh, grasshopper, excuse me, grasshopper. <laughs> when people uh, think of natural disasters, they probably don't think about grasshoppers. Uh, uh, part, uh, a big part of our history, and you'll have to come and learn why. <laughs> uh, F is for fluoridation. Fluoridation was discovered here in Colorado Springs. Uh, the idea that fluoride in water uh, can be beneficial to dental health, uh, a top 10 discovery of the 20th century in terms of public health, and it, it uh, links itself right here to Colorado Springs. Awesome. V is for... Viejo's Restaurant, a family-owned, beloved, historic downtown restaurant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. L is for Lon Chaney, a uh, noted silent film actor who grew up in Colorado Springs. And here and we see goes. how in process this still <laughs> is. We have, uh, I love this. I love that we're just part of the installation as it's happening here today. Yes, you never know what you might see as we're installing it. <laughs> now, I'm seeing paintings throughout the exhibit that all seem to be by the same artist. Yes, we have uh, contracted with Phil Lear, a well-known local artist who is uh, illustrating each letter of the alphabet with an original painting. Uh, and it's a great way to bring color and activate the exhibit. Sure. Um, the museum, for the story of us, is really setting yourselves up very publicly as a storyteller for our Absolutely. community. And, and it's wonderful that you're engaging local artists who are also storytellers uh, visually. Storytelling is a that. core value of the museum. Uh, it's really ultimately what museums do. Water skiing is not the kind of skiing <laughs> that one often thinks about, uh, but look, there's Prospect Lake. Water skiing on Prospect Lake allows us to talk about the water system in Colorado Springs, and we do have the other kind of skiing. When Ski oh, Broadmoor yeah. was uh, open and uh, allowed people to ski in the southwest part of downtown. How neat. Well, um, one of the things that I've been thrilled to discover as we've been walking through is that the physical artifacts are just a, a part of what this exhibit is. So uh, here you'll see uh, beside <laughs> <laughs> incredible <clears throat> artifacts like that, um, this portal, yeah, uh, which takes people deep into your archives. Can you show it to us? Sure. So this is the Story of Us online component. Um, ultimately, it will be available to people um, at home. But it gives us a chance to talk about each one of these 26 different stories um, using uh, modern uh, mapping technology. And so in this case, we talked about coal mining. We can open the coal mine map. People can look at Colorado Springs as it is today. Um, we can zoom in and explore some of the different coal mines that were in town. Um, people may not even know Colorado Springs was um, a major coal mining community, and it produced um, uh, power and uh, um, uh, fuel for uh, for furnaces in Colorado Springs. But the great thing we've done is we've digitized our historic map collection, um, and so people can begin to overlay historic maps with contemporary maps. So in this case, the Keystone Mine, which is on Circle, oops, excuse me, Circle, we can take a look at. Uh. <laughs> so if you're a map geek. <laughs> Yeah, this, so this, is, this, uh, this will get you extremely excited. <laughs> and so here we have maps that show the layout of the mines wow. as they compare to the streets. So people can look at where their homes are. Um, if you live over in the Country Club neighborhood, uh, you may live right above the shaft of the mine. And again, uh, 
um, in this case, literally, we want people to get a deeper understanding of Colorado Springs. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Um, but each one of the letters will have a different theme, and ultimately we'll have multiple themes for each letter. Um, a is for the Antlers Hotel, uh, downtown institution. There have been three Antlers Hotel and we, Hotels, and we want people to understand that history, that it's been a major part of our downtown landscape. In this case, we discovered in our collection so there was pictures there and postcards and all kinds of things um, beyond the map. Oral history accounts, um, all kinds of ways for people to dig in and understand this, uh, this great institution. But one of the things we discovered is <clears throat> original sheet music for something called the Antlers Waltz. It's been in our collection for years. We've never heard it. Wow. Um, we've set it to music and we've created a music video um, <laughs> that explores the Antlers through photos and music. This music was originally um, composed in 1908 in honor of General Palmer, who originally owned the Antlers, and a year before his death. So should we listen hear, to a little bit of it? Yeah, let's hear the Antlers waltz. Oops, nope, that's okay. not what I wanted to do. So you're, you're here, one of the first to hear it. <laughs> Since 1908, <laughs> the Antlers so Waltz. Since in 1908 was the second Antlers Hotel, people not, may not recognize this building. That's because it was torn down in the 1960s. But we've done a history of the Antlers from its construction wow. and, and through its lifespan until it was torn down as part of a renewal. Look at that crowd. Matt, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, this was such an exciting just glimpse into what people can get into, and especially the digital access to your archive. Um, people can have such a personal experience and find what they're most interested in. Absolutely. It's a, way, <clears throat> it's a great way to find sure yourself fine. in the history of the community um, and to find how you fit in to this great story yeah. that we all surrounded by. So come out anytime after Saturday. It opens on Saturday. Come out and find your story within the story of us at the Pioneers Museum. And you can learn more about the opening on Saturday and the run of the exhibit and programming at the Pioneers Museum at peakradar.com. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Angela.